Word allows you to specify all sorts of paper sizes and margins for your documents. If your margins result in trying to print on an area of the paper that your printer can't handle, then you'll be notified of the problem as described in this quick tip. Word supports any printer that you can install for use with Windows. In most instances, you can take full advantage of the features of the printer. This depends, of course, on the printer driver you are using to communicate with the printer. Now, I'm not going to go into a deep dive into printer drivers other than to say it's the printer driver that allows your programs, such as Word, to communicate with the printer. It is also the printer driver that makes the features of the printer accessible to programs such as Word. If you try to print a document with page margins that are set too small, you may see an error message. For instance, this document has margins on the left and right side that are only one-tenth of an inch. Watch what happens when I try to print. I go over to the back office area by pressing Control p and then if I choose to go ahead and print, I get a message that says the margins are too small and that information be may be cut off. This error message appears because the printer driver knows how close to the edge of the paper that you can print with your printer. For instance, most laser printers cannot print closer to the edge of the paper than a quarter of an inch. Some printers require even more dead space at the edges of the paper. This is required because the printer uses that dead space to mechanically grip and guide the paper through the printer. If you see an error message such as this, well, then all you have to do is say, no, I don't want to print. And then you can go back over to the Layout tab of the ribbon, click on Margins, and choose one of the standard margins that are in here, or we can go to the Custom Margins option. Notice that the left and right margins in this dialog box are set to only one-tenth of an inch. If I set this to a larger size, let's say I'm only going to make it 0.15 of an inch and uh, hope that that will work. I change that to 0.15 of an inch for both left and right, and then when I click on OK, if I go to Print again, and go to the printer, and print, it prints just fine. The whole concept here is that you have to be very cognizant of the width of your margins so that it is something that your printer driver can handle as it puts paper through your printer. Now, there is another way to handle this. Back on the Layout tab of the ribbon, let's go back up to Margins up here, and I'm going to go to Custom again. Now, we know that one-tenth of an inch is too small, so let's make this, again, one-tenth of an inch, which, again, we know is too small, and the right side, we're going to make one-tenth of an inch as well. Now, watch, watch what happens when I click on OK. Word tells me that the margins are outside the printable area of the page. Again, it knows this because of the printer driver. Notice that there's two buttons here. One is Fix and one is Ignore. If I choose Ignore, then I'm going to go ahead and get an error when I actually try to print. But if I choose Fix, then it lets Microsoft, according to the printer driver information, set the minimum margins that are appropriate for this printer. And notice now that it has set the left and the right margins to be 0.12 inches. This brings up an advantage to letting Word do the fixing. It allows you to see what the printer driver considers to be the minimum margin settings. And at this point, I could click OK, and I could go and print, and I would have no problem with this particular printer that I'm using. Now, understand that that minimum margin is going to vary depending upon what printer driver you're using with Windows. Different printers have different dead space areas that they need to work with in order to mechanically be able to handle the paper and print on it. Well, I hope you found this quick tip helpful. If you did, you might consider signing up for the free Word Tips newsletter. Information is in the notes just below this video. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.